Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Alright, so this girl uh, came up and started chatting us up there uh, when we were coming out of uh, the Lucky 38. So she asked us, hey, aren't you that person that uh, went and messed up up, messed stuff up <laughs> over at the uh, casino there with the White Glove Society people? So yeah, that would definitely be me. What's up? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Ah. Well, except for you. I got you. And this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. I mean, all right, I'm on it. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Hey, come here. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Not quite yet. Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. The New Vegas Medical Clinic. We didn't find that, did we? So I knew we had to go see a doctor. She just reminded me of it. That's why I said, oh, <laughs> and opened my menu there. All right, you guys. Man, New Vegas is so cool. That is such a different experience in this game. And now... Relax, everyone relax. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> now it's back out into the wild, you guys. I am <laughs> ready to face the world again. We need to find the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I would have figured it would be in New Vegas, but I guess not. Fucker, man. I don't like how it disbands your team when you go up into the Lucky 38. I'm gonna have to remember that. That's a fucking pain in the ass. Not a good idea. <laughs> like I said, fellas, not a good idea. Yeah, that kind of sucks that it disbands your team. I'm going to have to remember that. Actually, are they? Is my question now, for fuck's sake. Uh, 
Like, if they're not up here, man, fucking why, Bethesda? Why? with my friends now, Victor, you got that? Casino floor. I swear to God, if you freeze right now, Xbox, oof. Why is the map so fucked in that area, man? What's up, motherfucker? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. New Vegas Medical Clinic? Why is it called the New Vegas Medical Clinic if it isn't in New Vegas? Son of a bitch. Personal space mean anything to you, You want to get shot in the face? Mean anything to you? Fuck face? Vegas Medical Clinic. <clears throat> oh, what do you know? That is one battery high 
it's a miracle it's still functioning. Is that right? She's basically brand new, Hello. pal. Rebuilt from the ground up. Dr. Usanagi, you guys. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. You what now? Holy. Tell me about the clinic. Everything you see is funded by the followers of the apocalypse. We rely a lot on charity to provide low-cost medical services to the less fortunate. Hmm. Holy, she's got a lot of questions here. Can I make a donation to the followers? Of course! We prefer bulk donations of 500 caps. It's apparently a lot easier on the accountants for some reason. What do you mean I don't have the caps? I do have the caps. Of course. Oh, why wouldn't it let me? Are you one of the followers of the Apocalypse? Yes, I am. I received my medical training at the Angels Boneyard Medical University back in the NCR. It's not a requirement to be a follower to enter the university, but I believe in what they do. So I joined them. So what do the followers believe in? We believe that technology for basic necessities like food, water, and medicine should be shared, not hoarded. We're also strongly in favor of proper education. I've come across more than a few doctors whose techniques came out of the back of a magazine. Are the followers part of the NCR? We've worked with them in the past. The NCR became too focused on things like patents and profitability, so the followers go their own way now. The NCR and the followers have a cool relationship at the moment. We see them as oppressive, and they view us as anarchists. Oh. Do the followers have a headquarters around here? Yes, the Mormon Fort in Freeside. It's hard to miss. Yeah, we found that. It's that big-ass square place. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to know. All right. Show me what you got for sale. Because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. Uh, discount, let's go. A bone saw's ready. Okay. What kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. What? Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. Wait. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. What? I want to buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. Uh. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? The hell is this? Yeah, I'm interested in this subdermal implant. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. What? Fucking cha-ching. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Eight grand. Am I I'm Superman now? Is it gonna be in here? Subdermal armor, you guys. Your skin has been toughened by the Nimian subdermal armor, increasing your total DT by four. That's fucking huge. That's huge. 
We need to fix our armor. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Oh. What else you got? Right. I want that regeneration, baby. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. Okay. The implant is very expensive, oh. however. 12,000 caps. Oh, I don't have that much money right now. That's all right. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> we know where we're coming when we have 12,000 caps. Corporal Betsy from First Recon will be coming to you for mental treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Sweet. Ooh, that's a big old mission complete there, you guys. Take care. Ooh. Well, we definitely got an upgrade there. Plus four DT, that is actually insane. Let's go down to Good Springs. Hopefully my boy Ch -ch -ch Chet has got uh, some leather armor. I don't know if we have any at home, but Chet is usually, uh, he usually has a one or two. <clears throat> we need to fix our armor, it's like half busted. Well, that's pretty cool. Pretty sweet upgrade, man. Eight grand? Fuck yeah, dude. I'd pay another eight grand for another four DT. I'd keep paying it. I'd just keep have doing it. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Sure have, man. You looking to buy some supplies? I've seen it, Chet. Yeah. <laughs> you little pussy. <laughs> oh, wait. How much money do we have? Five grand. Uh, two diamonds. Always buy them. 20 gauge. 40. 40 mic mic. Pleasure doing business with you. so dark. Yes, I am pressing A much faster than it's actually going. There we go. <laughs> Come on, let me take it. Take it, take it, take it. Me. 
Alright, our armor <coughs> is now fixed. <laughs> I think the moment to do like a big closet cleanup is coming up soon, you guys. <laughs> we have a lot of shit in the closet right now. We could go pack our bags and go to a bunch of different stores, sell it all off and stuff. And then uh, grab all of our ingredients and stuff and find a campfire. Alright, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20 fucking 4 missions on the go. This is going to be dumb. <laughs> However, where are you? What is it? Is it the Black Rock Cave? Is that what it is? Damn, I can't remember what it was called now. I will call it... Hidden Valley... Was it Black Rock Cave? Now <laughs> we're gonna spawn in front of like 15 death claws here. <laughs> I think it's Black Rock Cave. The Death Claw Cave? Because we never finished it, remember? We left because we didn't have anything to like properly fix ourselves. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking see ya. Yeah, I don't think it was the Black Rock Cavern. In fact, <clears throat> I'm a hundred percent sure that it wasn't. The Dead Wind Cavern. That's it. And we'll start at the walk-in box because we know there's going to be a million death claws out front. Give me one second. 
second you go. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Give me one second. Oh, I'm buggy. Damn, he ran. I'll get him here. Move, Boone, please. Uh huh. Oh, what the fuck? You're mine. Why were NCR red? Fallout. Fallout. Seriously, fuck. Fucking Christ. I fucking hate shit like that. A fucking waste of time. Now we gotta go fight those fuck faces again. I put it right in his ear. Having that regeneration on ability on top of having the Vault 13 uh, canteen is going to be insane, you guys. Fuck you! Fuck you, invisible wall. Fucking hell.
there's actually no death claws out front. I don't see anything, Edie. There's nothing there, baby. Let's go find out what this is. We're at the end of the video and um, close to a level up as well, so. <gasps> hey, pussies! Done. Oh, he's like falling through the ground and shit. Oh god. Whew, nice kill, Boney. Oh, they're actually stuck down there. Boon ruined that man. Good night. That boy had a doctor's bag on him. Well, yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out watching this episode of Fallout New Vegas. Do me a favor, you guys, leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I freaking love you, and I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. So be sure to have a good. Bye-bye.